here today. It's great to be back in Chicopee, Mr. Mayor, and to be with the community. It's great to meet members of your forestry department and other folks from the city who are doing great work, members of our city council who are here. How many out here went to Stefanik Elementary? Besides you guys, any other people? <laughs> Old people like us? Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> we, love, we love all of our schools. Our elementary schools are special. So we thank all of our educators and our staff. We thank Principal Terrio. We thank Superintendent Ware and others um, from Chicopee who are doing really important work to put you guys front and center. We're, I'm also really lucky to be joined by some really important people. Do you know some of these folks? Do you know this guy? Yeah? Senator Vilas? All right, he's going to, he's going to, yeah. And, and Senator Oliveira? Yeah. They're like, they, 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 they work for you. You got any complaints? If you got any issues or anyone in your family has any concerns, talk, talk to these guys. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, my sub budget's done. It's okay. Um, so we're also really happy to be joined here today by members of our team. Our Secretary of Energy and Environmental Affairs, Rebecca Tepper. Our Undersecretary for the Environment, Stephanie Cooper. Our Undersecretary of Decarbonization and, Resi and Resilience, Catherine Antos. And the guy who gave me this cool hoodie, our Commissioner <laughs> of the Department of Conservation and Recreation, Commissioner Brian Arrigo. And also joining us today somewhere is our new uh, Director of Community Affairs, the Reverend Art Gordon. So, um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk just about a couple of things here today. And uh, one is that we celebrated Earth Week this week. And it was a really good week for the state, too, because you know what we got from the Biden administration? $160 million. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. And we're going to use that to put in solar. We're going to use that to put in solar around the state, including in a lot of people's homes and communities. That's going to be really good. You know what I got to do on Tuesday? I got to be with some bigger kids. Um, I know. It's a mixed bag. You guys are first graders, right? Awesome. Are you ready for second grade? Yeah, that's good. Well, I got to be with some high school students because we have a youth climate council. Because we, as a team, everybody up here wants to listen to your voices. So we had meetings to hear from young people about how they want to see us protect their future and our climate. And so we talked about a lot of things. And today, we're here to celebrate a really cool program. Can you see our cooling corridors? program, which, uh, which is about greening our cities. Over the last 10 years, we have provided a hundred, uh, excuse me, $30 million. Yes. Yes. To plant trees. Yeah, it costs money. Plant, the labor's free, but it costs money. $30 million to plant trees all around, including 2,300 trees right here in Chicopee. Yes. Now, today, we planted a lot of trees. Yes, we planted a lot of trees. And what do trees do? They, yeah, they, give, us, they give us oxygen. They give us, they give us cover. They give us shade. They protect us from the heat. They help keep our neighborhoods cool. And they reduce the need for air conditioning, which helps us save money. They're also the way that nature cleans the air because they absorb all the bad stuff, pollutants and other things, and they release oxygen, which makes the air better for us to breathe, right? So we think that's pretty cool, and uh, we wanted you guys to feel that coolness, which is why we gave out these awesome blue uh, sunglasses that we're all wearing. Thank you. You're not wearing them. Okay. So that's what today is about. Now, I'm gonna turn it over I'm going to turn it over to Secretary Tepper right now, okay? Um, and uh, but, but before I do, I want you to know that we plant trees all around the state, but you kids are part of a very special tree planting today 
because do you know what that tree represents? And we thank our DCR team for all the work they do. That tree represents the 40,000th tree that we've planted in this program. And you guys are gonna be the ones to help us plant that historic 40,000th tree. Are you up for it? Yes. Awesome, okay. We're gonna hear from a couple more adults, um, but they'll, they'll be quick and we'll be on to planting trees, okay? All right, awesome. You wanna, you wanna put your hands together for, your, for Secretary Rebecca Tepper? She's gonna come up? Okay. Thank you so much, Governor. It's great to see you all here today. It's a very exciting day for all of us. Um, we're excited to be here. It's Arbor Day, as you know. What's Arbor Day? Yep. Nobody knows. <laughs> Celebration of trees. That's what, right? Awesome. All right. So um, I just wanted to talk a little bit first to introduce you to my team. Um, one of the things that you will know when you get a little older, how important it is when you're leading a team to have really good people with you. And that's what I have. I have, as I say over and over again, a superstar team. And they are here, Catherine Antros, Stephanie Cooper. And we also have a tremendous number of wonderful people from the Department of Conservation and Recreation who spend a lot of time setting things up like this, but also tree planting, taking care of all of our parks. Um, it's their rangers there. They have really cool jobs. So when you're old enough for internships, you can think about that because it's a really cool job. So I just wanted to say thank you also to our MVP regional coordinator, Andrew Smith. There he is. And our tree planting program manager, uh, Hillary. I know I was told her I was going to mess up her name, and now I definitely will. Domino. Domino. Thank you. Thank you. So um, we're excited that we are celebrating our Greening of the Gateways program this morning and launching our cooling corridors with you. So this week is Earth Week and our team has been around the state as the governor was talking about and talking about all the ways that we can protect the environment and combat climate change. And as you know, planting trees is a key component of doing that. To, as the governor was talking about, trees are really important. They capture carbon and they take in it and purify our air. And trees are also what we call sort of the heat pump. Um, and they were, if all the trees that we're planting today are gonna help us cool Chicopee down in years forward. So we're gonna, even if we plant a tree, this is an interesting thing, even if you plant a tree like over there, that still affects us. It's still, the people over here are still getting cooling effects even though we're not right under the tree. So that's, um, that, I know, it's true. Um, and in winter, trees are also helpful because they break up wind and they help keep our, our houses warm. And it's also a very, the, this program is important to us because it's also an issue of environmental and economic justice. Too far, too long, um, low-income residents and black and brown folks um, are, have been much more likely to live in areas that don't have enough tree cover. And as a result, those communities sometimes are too hot um, in the summer and they're too drafty in the winter. Um, and they end up paying more um, on their electric bills because they're hot and have to use their air conditioning. So that is why we are so proud of the progress that our Greening the Gateway City program has. And we thought it was important to expand that program to the Cooling Corridors program where we'll be better able to focus tree planting to benefit environmental justice communities. So that's just like one of the many things that we're doing here to get the state um, excited about environmental issues, including biodiversity goals. And we're looking out for our forests and we are devoting $50 million, another big number, to conserve our forests and uh, getting closer to our goal of preserving 40% of our natural and working lands by 2050. So as the, as the climate heats up, we know that we need to get trees in the ground and support them and grow them in all of our communities so all of our communities can stay safe and healthy. So I just want to introduce you to our commissioner of the Department of Conservation and Recreation, Brian Rigo. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Secretary. I am uh, so thrilled to be here today uh, to celebrate Arbor Day uh, and Earth Week and, our, of course, our Green the Gateway Cities program a really terrific program that has helped shield vulnerable communities 
uh, across the state from extreme heat. Um, I do want to recognize a few of the folks here today that have helped make this such a, a, a success, and uh, especially our, our Green the Gateways uh, program uh, team, uh, including Julie Coop, uh, Doug Hutchinson, Rachel DiMatte, and Sarah Greenleaf. Thank you for your tremendous work on behalf of, of everybody. Uh, and of course, our partners in the legislature, our municipal partners, and private partners who helped make this program so successful. Green the Gateway Cities actually started in the spring of 2014 in the city of Chelsea. And it expanded to Chicopee uh, the following year, and it is now in 23 gateway communities all across uh, the state. And I often say that the work that we do at DCR uh, sits at the nexus of climate change, equity, public health, and economic opportunity. Uh, and if we focus our work on these four pillars, we can really make a, a significant difference in the lives of residents across the Commonwealth. And this program is such a great example of, of just that. By increasing the uh, urban tree canopy, we're improving quality, the air quality, uh, reducing the urban heat island effect, and lowering energy consumption, all of which directly improve the quality of life for families and residents all across the Commonwealth. And you know, this program uh, makes neighborhoods uh, more livable uh, for our residents and helps remedy uh, environmental injustices. And this is one of many programs that DCR uh, runs aimed at creating a more resilient uh, uh, community and commonwealth uh, and fostering stewardship so that one of you may be the future commissioner uh, or working for, uh, for DCR someday. And, ultimately uh, preserving our beautiful natural resources for generations to come so that when you grow up, your children can enjoy uh, our beautiful spaces. Uh, together, we will continue to advance our climate goals and build a greener uh, and healthier future. So thank you all for being here. It's so, so great to be here with you today. And I now have the pleasure to, uh, to ask Governor Haley to come back up. Thank you. You know what? I think we're going to make them. Do, do our legislative colleagues want to say anything or we, or we just all want to dig? Wanna dig. dig? All right, dig. good. We're going to go. We're going to go plant trees now. Is that good? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Great. Again, many thanks to everybody at the Stefanik Elementary School, particularly our wonderful teachers, educators, staff. Um, <laughs> thank you for uh, helping bring everybody together here today and keep everybody in one place. You also have beautiful artwork that you've done, huh? Okay, great. Can we see it? Oh, great. That's beautiful. You know what I want you to do? I want you all to stand and face the camera so you can be on TV. Just stand. Just turn right around. Yep. Yep. Just show. Just wave. Wave. Give a thumbs up for the earth. Right? Yep. Yep. Anybody who wants to be on TV. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the Shoot. Okay, great. They're all good. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, principal. Yeah. All right. I'm not. I'm done. Somebody else take. Somebody else is going to take charge. We're going to uh, move to plant trees. Great. That's okay. Great. Okay. Forty thousand. I still have your phone, which I'm happy to have, but I just don't want to hear. Trying to make everything, you know. I see that. <laughs> 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 